got him. Beautiful morning. I want to feel liberated. I am. Uh, Friday, because it's how y'all pour back into me. In case y'all didn't know, 
that I don't have a lot of people that I trust. I don't listen to a lot of people. Yay. Because I see what's, what's happening. You know, I even see pictures of some of y'all, how y'all used to look. Is Janelle Pomer here? She's somewhere. Man, she looked 20 years younger. Mm -hmm. I remember when she came to the, the intensive and she couldn't even hardly walk. And now she's sexy, taking pictures on Instagram, and saying, I'm naked. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all to see what's weekend. So it's just a lot of amazing things. And I just want y'all to know, like, I'm very, I'm very grateful. You know, people ask me all the time, like, how you pull us off? This event costs you no know, less than $1.2 million. Like, period, $1.2 Whether, whether we sell the tickets or not, like, that's the cost. That's what it costs. And so I just, I decided to do this event. And I believe this is for us. Like, imagine me doing an event with Delaney Cardone, Rick Ross, and Panda with Sick Me and my Like, for free. And I'm letting y'all know right now. If anybody's in this event and did not pay, I promise you. And I find out, and you'll have on your right bracelet, so you stole your way to here. Anybody? I promise you. I'm going to make sure you get put out on your head. Like this way. Boom. On your head. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not good. People put a lot into this. Some people put their, their last into this. Some people right. made real. I'm talking about. Fifty dollar yeah. payment arrangement, a hundred dollar payment arrangement. Yeah, yeah. People that pay light bills, water bills, car notes. <laughs> so today is Friday. Y'all know we're kicking it off today with uh, Pillow Talk, and um, I, I, I love Pillow Talk this morning. That's what I'm talking about. Pillow Talk with me, Hunter Mello, in the bed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, about two minutes, not that kind. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta be careful when you're living with Grace. You're going to force you in the bed. <laughs> Viral. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but no, um, <clears throat> so we're kicking off tonight with Pillow Talk. And I, I would tell you, our Pillow Talk is probably one of the most, you know, important aspects of this entire weekend. And I'm grateful that we kick it off that way. And I'll tell y'all why. So get, 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 get your courage up because I do want to hear from y'all in two minutes. So here's why Pillow Talk is so important. So I've been doing uh, The Awakenings really for like 10 years. It used to be called How to Get Unstuck and Create the Life of Your Dreams. This was back when I would sell tickets for um, general admission was $99. VIP was $149. Wow. It was just me working everything. I was the, the, the DJ. I did the PowerPoints. I passed out the pamphlets. And Annetta, my, my, my best friend, I don't know where she had crazy stuff, knocked on my room door like 1 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Annetta was my faithful attendee. And she would buy tickets to every event. She never came for free. And um, so she's still one of my uh, first supporters. And she's still, she, she comes to every event. Y'all see her in a minute. And y'all hear from her this weekend as well. But I've been doing this event for a long time. And at every event, and I didn't start it with this purpose. I really started it with the purpose to help people to get unstuck. Because I was stuck. And it's something special that happens to you when you have a metamorphosis. When you evolve. Like, it makes you wake up. And it makes you, it's kind of like when you go to church and you get saved, and then now you want to go around and get all your friends saved, and you turn into the crazy church thing. <laughs> Just like, you know, you're joining there with marketing company, and you make $100, and now you want to tell everybody about your, you know, million dollar company, you only made $100. It's like when you become awakened, you want to help other people become awakened, because it's like, this is a nice life over here. The awakened life is like, wow, like, seriously. It breathes differently. Food tastes differently, like everything changes. And I realized ever since the beginning of my events, at least five, ten, even back then, before I added on the pastors and all that stuff, it was just me doing everything, okay? At, at, at least like five, ten women will come and they'll be suicidal and depressed. Then as we evolved, every event, I'm talking about at least 19 women will come and they will share a story of how this week, like the week of the event, they was about to take some pills, or this week, the week of the event, they, they wrote a letter that they was gonna do this, and like they literally was about to kill themselves. Like, and the event is what saved them. So, after realizing that, I wanted to also know like, okay, share with me like, why? Like, give me some, some reasons. And 99% of the reasons why a lot of these women um, were suicidal, here's the deal, they look great. You know, suicide don't mean you walking slow and you know, you can't hardly talk and you slob and not their mouth. So, no, they would have all their blueies and their red bottoms and they'd be fly. Like, and that's when I realized that suicide and depression could look pretty. They, you know, still smelling good. I'm talking about fly, lace, lace fronts laid down. I'm like, wait a minute. So I understood that from my own experience. 
And here's the reality of what I learned as well. Those women would be suicidal and depressed. 99.9% .9 of them was because of a relationship. It was great, but we didn't really do the things I like to do. You know, I like to take you know, take it inside, inside me internally. And jump around, I couldn't jump. I had six inch heels and all this stuff. I could barely walk. <laughs> to be honest with you, I was struggling, okay? But I made it. I ain't falling out one time. <laughs> but this, this Saturday and this Sunday, y'all, wear your tennis shoes. Like, seriously, like, we don't have time for that. We know how it, 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 how it happens and what happens. And, and then my life into a, a docu-series, documentary. So, you know, be on your game. Be nice. Don't steal nothing. <laughs> Please, don't steal no lip gloss because it's easy to pick it up and act like the person I see. You don't do it. Don't steal nothing, please, because your lips gonna crawl off and put <laughs> Be nice to anybody. Like, if you never smile at somebody, practice smiling at somebody and watch how they smile back. I promise you. Right, yeah. <laughs> I be about to fire them every week and I change my mind, okay? Because they, they are, you know, they're amazing people, you know. But anybody want to share? If you want to share from Freedom Friday, like, make a line. Make a line, y'all, right here. Again, Freedom Friday, limited to, like, you know, 60 seconds. Yes, unless it's real deep and juicy. Right. If it's just like you keep saying thank you to me like over and over again, like I'm, I'm grateful, but you ain't got to say thank you like 20 times. You know what I'm saying? Right? And then we all going to work out. Y'all ready to do a little workout this morning? Yeah! It, it is Miss Juliet's birthday. Y'all give it up for Miss Juliet. Yeah! So we're going to give her a good workout for our, our, her 50th birthday, y'all. Yeah! Hey, Miss Sheila, I said she's somewhat collecting invoices, as she should. All right, so Freedom Friday, y'all, we share our testimonials of how Girl Hold My Hand or The Awakening has been a blessing to you. Anything that you say, just know that we're hearing and we're listening. And COVID, and I was in literally my deathbed. I was in the hospital. It's a 2021, okay? I was in my deathbed, and I spoke life over my life, and I said, God, I know that you got something bigger for me. So, that being said, <laughs> The awakening was in September, and I was telling my, my best friend, like, hey, look, if I die, I love you. This is what I have. Here's my everything. I told her everything. She said, Yamil, you met mortality because the, the next month I came to the awakening, okay, and I was reborn again, and I have never experienced something so beautiful in my life. Wow. Not only yeah. that, not only that, my dream. And this is my moment, sorry, I'm so weak. This is my moment and I'm telling you, I believe it with all my heart. I've been praying for it, that when I hold your hand, I've been speaking this for three years, my God, that when I hold your hand, your energy, everything will come unto me because I need it. Because you're so beautiful, you're so, you're so amazing. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm grateful to John Pinky. Sheila, yeah. everyone that helps me to get here. Yeah. It wasn't easy to get here. But God, you know you have a plan for me. And he wanted me to shake your hand. Yeah. And I'm telling yeah. you, I'm going to be Kingsley. I'm called Tommy Nicole Wellington. I'm going to be one of your millionaires. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to make you proud. You're going to know my name. Because my daughter said as well, Mom, I went into a store the other day, and they don't know who I am. They don't know who is my mom. I said, tell them, my daughter, because my name will open doors like my coach. Because I believe it. I believe it with my heart. But I just wanted to hold your hand to get that energy. And I'm leaving now. I don't want to over talk. But I just want you to know I love you. I love you so much. I honor you. When I mean honor, I honor you. I never speak bad about you, and I will never will. That's yeah. honor. Come on. And I honor you, queen. And yeah. from the bottom of my heart again, you are the queen. There's none other like yeah. you. Affirmations are all on the wall. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. a lot of y'all may not understand this, what just yeah. took place, but when yeah. somebody is instrumental in changing your life and making you right. believe and making you not want to give up, it's just a different level of appreciation. Yeah, yeah. And nobody else may understand. It may right. seem weird, but no, it's yeah. like deep yeah. down inside, you know what role that person played. Right. So I receive Amen. and I respect 
and I totally understand, and I'm so proud to see her here all the way from London. Y'all listen to her. Yeah. Touch of the grid. She will make one million pounds, baby. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about. I told y'all, I need this. Yeah. Yeah, right now, nobody want to hear about that. I, nobody want to hear when you the victim. But when you become the victor because you overcame that thing that was meant to destroy you, and you you cry through it five minutes and then you get gangster five minutes later. Five minutes later. Yeah. And you tell somebody how. Let me tell you what I went through yesterday. The young lady who said she had anxiety attack, but she's still here, and, and her kids. She told herself her kids babysitting. I don't even know if y'all caught that. She, said she she told herself they just babysitting. That's so deep. They'll be back, but they just babysit. See, successful people create conditions in their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to succeed. All right. So how many y'all would love to come to the y'all party in the summer? Going through and recording, so you can look back at it and be like, I can do this. Cause sometimes you need to go back and look back at your own strength. Cause that's one thing nobody nobody can't give you belief, nobody can't give you faith, and nobody can't give you strength. That's something that you decide on your own. Nobody can't give you patience. Like, you got to decide. Those are things that you give to yourself. So, last testimony. And I don't, where's Juliet? She right, right here. here. Okay, right I, here. I know you right turned 50 and all, but we ready to work out. We want that 50 year old workout. Yes, look, look at Miss Juliet, y'all. No, no, not yet. We're going to sing happy birthday after she put it on us on the workout. So, all that. Tiny Moody's bodies. Let's celebrate Miss Juliet's 50th birthday. And she can be like a little Right, right. No excuses. We got young, two year old, 25, 30. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get some room for our workout. Let's get some room for our workout. Let's get some music. What the vibes at? I know John, John, like I do the DJ. I do the. Yes, beautiful morning. Are y'all ready, ladies? Oh, where the gentlemen at? Are y'all ready, ladies and gentlemen? Don't let the ladies out do y'all, men. You know, I be walking, don't know where the hell I'm going. No, Remember, we, yeah, we back on it. I don't be know where the hell I be going. Oh, go for two hours. I'm in. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Yes. Good workout, ladies. Good workout. Good workout, right? Good workout. Good workout. Ready for the waking. I'm ready for it. Let's go. They ready for it. Let's do it. Y'all ready for the waking? Oh, I'm already got it. What are you over there? Oh, they just feel wet. Oh, no, they are wet, yeah. They think I'll take up that job. I'm going to go grab it. Oh, yeah, the cap Yeah, the cap can be right here. All the <laughs> yeah, we have some in the store. Oh, yeah, so it's still in there. Yeah, so I, I don't want to go home with none of them. <laughs> in this color? Yeah. But what? What am I do with them? You know, I be thinking about the money. Don't forget the money. Girl, what's going on? I need to make the money. Can I get you <laughs> Yeah, what y'all need? Hello, who need help? What you need? Come on. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go get the Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. Kids, go get the Dubai. Yeah. Now, go help Trina get the Dubai. Yeah. Come on, go, go. I'm trying to go home. None of that shit. Continue to reinvent, reinvent, reinvent. Literally said, across the board, the ones that are getting creative are winning. The ones that are not are stuck right now. Yeah. Look at last night. Like, yeah. like imagine going on the road with that type of energy, that type of conversation. And at the end of the day, everything comes together. They're teaching them. Yeah. They love it. And if the products are getting moved, <laughs> anything, I told the car, I said, listen, don't come tell me nothing about what nobody said. At the end of the day, we always go through this. They talk shit, but look at what happened in the end. Yeah. He said, I'm not bothering you. I said, he said, I have nothing to say. I said, please, don't. Thank you. We literally on the phone yesterday. Yeah. He said, I, I, I'm not calling you to ruin your day or nothing. He said, I just want you to have a great weekend. Yeah. And I said, listen, the phone was, I said, don't you know when they complain about me, we made more money? He said, yeah, we kind of missed that. I said, good. Right. Let me take a look at no, let's go this way, Natalie, so you can get the girl on here right on the floor. Yeah, and her skin, I'm having to look good, but it's not. Oh, shit. Wait, this lady's in the back, y'all. Yeah, let me get to the bottom. Oh, shit. Oh, my turn. She's little, isn't she? She's cute. Oh, my woman. Yes. Yeah. She wants that in her picture. I'm doing it. Hold on, wait. I'm having in the flesh.
This is what she cleans up. Look. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. She cleans up. Oh, wow. She's pretty. The whole yeah. goddamn oh, renaissance is the awakening. Yeah. Period. Y'all want them talking Period. about the whole goddamn right? renaissance is the awakening. Exactly. Grandma's house is a real Wake place. Up, Wake what up. is this right here? Where's Martha? Uh, this is for everybody else. The vendors. Like, that's the not vendors supposed to be in here. Oh, the vendors right here. Yeah, the vendors. Miss America looking into it right now. But when you get when you get here, when you get here, yeah, I told her that. But when you get here, you'll see like like I, everything for the, the skincare line is really already done. For me to bring you in right now is just it's not for for me it's not professional, and I would not be able to see the full value of your 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 business because I did all the stuff that you was talking about is already organized. You see what I'm saying? You'll see when you get here. But if you want to do what you're doing separate, go ahead and do it for your stuff. This is the counter. Vendors are going to be located that way. And we're just trying to see how this world like facing because I want people from the hotel that see, they're yeah. not even part of the event asking what yeah. is this about. Okay. So. Okay, I see. We got the ones with the flap. The without push. the flap. How much are the ones with the flap? Oh, um, John updating the list. He's updating the list. The bees weren't on there either. Where's the mannequin at? The real. Which one? The real live mannequins, oh. the bodies. They're probably in that storage room. They're probably the in that room. The ones that we used yesterday? So how was the workout, folks? How was the workout? Great. What's this? Oh, you take pictures in here. Oh, I get it. But you know what? This being here is going to confuse people. Can't stand there. They not gonna know they can take a picture in there when they see that in there. Put this somewhere else. If, if they see that, they don't. They don't think they can take a picture in there. You see what I'm saying? Because it's really for a photo op. They're not gonna know. Take me a picture right here. Yeah, so nobody. People will come in and I spend no about their money. Right. And we ain't. I'm not on that. And then we're also doing what we did last year, taking the pictures of all the staff that, that are getting the badges. Yeah, they play too much, girl. People is real tacky and tired. What's up, boss man? You good? My awakening. You see till 10 o'clock in the morning? No. You know what I mean? I can't I wait to see her. Make, make her ass get up. No, I, that's not the truth. First you ain't meditate, you ain't work out. We didn't go to sleep. I don't give a damn. First of all, we didn't go to sleep. I don't care. care. You was a leader. You was a rich girl. I do. I understand. You was a PSA. You made a sacrifice. Action. I know. You in the bed at 10 o'clock in front of your leaders and your team and your coach? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But you told me I'm not that new. I should always go clean up. Ask how many people she got from out the country this morning. Not playing. You, you play too much. You're ready to be a baby mama. Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so
<laughs> and then you had to get it. I think okay. that's the truth. I think I you thought made that your mind that you could be a nice baby mom with okay. the kids and have a new baby and, and take care of his, his son. I see you. This is her, how are you? Tax office lady and the restaurant lady. Now you know that. I'm just telling you what it looks like. You yeah. know it, that's not what it I'm is. A, we didn't go to bed at five, and I thought it was a free I day. I don't care. You should it not have thought. Clarify and verify. At first, it don't matter. I'm not scared of the coach. I'm not going to be here and not doing no right. That ain't my coach. Natalie. How do you know I was going to come this morning? Who told you I was going to come this morning? Who told you I was going to come this morning? Well, a couple of things. I was loud outside, and I was like, "This might be something I need to go to," you know. Then Did I, I tell you that we were doing something? No, no, no. no. Oh, then Sheila texts oh, okay. in the morning time, but also my girls was like, "Hey, can I come to meditation?" And I was like, "No," because they're here to help me. And I was like, "Okay." I think I, everybody's like, you know, down there. I should go. Talk last night. Yeah. Got no, I wasn't gonna go. But I'm saying that the noise. I was just like, no, I should go. I'm gonna pay the like, yeah. I'm sorry, hello. Can I pay all that money? Yes, we ain't even oh, paid it. Oh, we ain't paid the bills. I'm still asking yeah. about the money. No, I paid for uh, some of them. Some of them I didn't pay for because they, they didn't say it. He sent them uh, like voluntarily. Mike! No! Mike! The big boss! Somebody's got to be here, you know? You know? Hi, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Me we too. are here again. Yes. How are you? I'm great. All right. I'm great. How can we not be great? Exactly. We are at the awakening. Yes. That's right. That's right. So this is the room before it becomes the experience. Yes. This is the room before it becomes the experience. So what you see now is what you're not going to see in, what, 24 hours tomorrow? No. No. We already have five. for a sound check. Okay, 12 o'clock, we all meeting in this room, right? Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right, Big Mike. <laughs> Let me show you the big boss, Mello. The little, the little big boss. He literally the, the big boss. What the owner of the company? You'll never know. Mike, you know we got to do our thing when the song, when the DJ get here. You know we got to do our song. This is the big, big, big boss, uh, Mello. This is the big boss right here. You know we got to do our thing at five. Oh. All right. You know we gotta turn up, Mike. All right, yep. <laughs> Into fruition. Into fruit. So do you, I like the green. Fruition. Me too, told you. And it's my thing, but it's what I had at home. I know. What's, one is missing from me. No, no, here we go. So like, this is a, a nice mix to mix with something else. So look, like right now, this is one of my favorites. So I got reminisced right here. This is mine. But this is really pretty. And don't let them double dip the thing in here. It's one dip and then boom, look. That's a fascination. That's a fascination. Yeah, that's a fascination. Boom, but you mix the, the fascination. is just like a, a, you mix it with something. So I mix fascination. You see what I'm saying? So. And this is a lip. This is a lip liner. We need a, so we need a pencil sharpener, and we need an alcohol spray. Y'all don't shop in the stores in Charleston. Maybe I just shop a lot. So you spray alcohol, so they can wipe it off. So we need an alcohol. Alcohol cleans it. Alcohol. So for each person that want to try, we need a pencil sharpener and alcohol and wipe it off. And this is a different. This is a nice light lip liner. So we need a, a sharpener and alcohol, so it will be a cheap. And that's something that and I told Octavius, I need something on the colors, and then Octavius came out with this idea. Yeah. So Valerie is going to set up some furniture here in the middle. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, all right. Now you know to take a picture in there. Damn that, but there's no cough. This looks stupid. It should be girl man. Call the manager right now. What the fuck do you think you said? Yeah, no, that should be my events, my stuff playing on this. You'll see it. I'll put the agenda. And I'm not paying. Yeah. <laughs> 
no I'll more. I'll fix it. Don't worry. You if I pay it. them all this, this will be my area. All of this belongs to me. I don't want you to do that. I'll fix I'm it. not, but tell them that's not right. That's no. not, that's stupid. Oh. Oh. No, I want no small. Give me a uh, medium. Give me some more. Uh, give me a medium. Give me how many more? Uh, five. I pay for five. Yes, yeah, so medium. four more. Yeah, but when you wash it, you can get one for, um, give me a, 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 a large for, for my love. What's that, the extra large? Two Hey, Mel, you want this? So that's three? Yeah, you got two more. Uh, uh, what's the girl name? Trina. Get, get one for Trina. Get two, one for Trina and one for, uh, what's the lady name? Miss America. Thank you. Wow, look at the colors. It's the designer kitty. Oh. So my boxes are, these are the Perkin Birkin boxes, these are the Coochie Guilty, and these are the Tiffany and Kitty. Oh wow, So yeah. they're the actual the designer boxes. What's this? Oh, those are boric acid pills, so they help with uh, bacterial vaginosis and yeast infection. You taking them out? No. You insert it. Oh. oh wow. Okay. I got a box for you. Okay, I see you girl. All right. I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Like support me, okay. Repeat it. How you gonna say it? How you gonna say it? Let me hear. I have to walk to people. You gotta sell out. Look, see them, see gotta... them kids over there. Look at the kids over there. We gonna go to the kids. Yeah. No, go to the mom. The kids. The, the, the mom. Go to the, the mama. kids. The mama. Go to the mama. The kids gonna look at you crazy. Let me explain something to you. Go to the mama. Would you like to support me and buy a shirt? The mama yes. be like, oh, that's so cute, and then they gonna buy it. Okay. <laughs> don't ask the kids. They ain't got no money. <laughs> They're gonna be hating the mama because you be like, oh. So every time something happens, you're like, damn, I'm not that great. And then you go down yeah. and down and down and down, and then you lose your whole self, and then you wake up one day depressed, like, what the fuck did I let happen? And some people, it's too late. And then some people figure it out. And when you forget who you are, that is the worst. And the thing is, people will forget who you are. I, I, I said, what's up, man? You too comfortable, bro. What's up? Why you got me looking like this? Like, why you letting me like, what, what are you? you wanna come get your fucking check every week? Why the fuck I look like this? Like, that's why, that's why, I, let me tell you something. Like, yeah, you, yeah, like, like, hold on, I'm not mad, don't be mad. Don't again, yeah. Yes, don't be, I'm not mad at you, but why, why are you allowing me to look like this? And that's why, like, I, I was telling Mr. Mella, I'm not a dress, but I dress okay. But I have you because you're supposed to make sure that I look good yeah. all the time. Yeah. And if I keep paying you, I don't give a fuck what I say. You figure out how to make me look a certain way. And when you know? see me tripping, you supposed to know I want to keep my job. And I, and I like how she looks, and I like her to look good, and she's a representation of me. So when she looks fucked up, I look fucked up. He's supposed yeah. to take my look personal. Like, why you look like that? No, 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 can I talk to her? I understand we're not buying Chanel. Cause that's stupid, I'm not spending fucking $200,000. The only thing we get, I spend over two million dollars. Yeah. I don't need to do that. You can still make me look cute and not spend $2 million. It may take a little bit more time because labels, it's easy. I learned that. But I think I went to the mall one day. I said, let me see something. I, knew, I figured it out. We're not going to admit this. Expensive stuff is easy. You go on yes. Fendi, Chanel. It's like, there you go. Poop. Cheaper stuff is, let me look through you this rack. Do, yeah. You need to take a more time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. When you go to expensive clothes, it's you easy. only, yeah. Set, boom, there you go. It was easy. No, motherfucker. Now it's time to change. And to be honest with you, as you evolve, people want to, after a while, it's like, that's just the girl with the labels. No, no, I want to see you look pretty and soft. And I could possibly, wow, the outfit was maybe 500, 300. I could do that. But you don't have to. Like, you need to see your evolution. And me personally, I don't want to spend $2 million on clothes. To me, I did it already. It's stupid. How you, can you, you make it? You already I'm did grown. it. It's a yeah, it's a bad. And yeah. it's supposed to be. So I had to remind him, listen, dude, if you keep making me look stupid, I'm going to fire your ass. And then don't be mad. Because like, even me and you, Maria, come on, clean up this. Because if I feel broke, I'm going to be broke. And then I don't want to come tell you I can't afford you. know, Maria, don't be mad. Clean this for me. I need to feel. Come on. Yeah. Now you hear you like, ah, shit. I see now. <laughs> and then you feel good because I feel good and we feel good and we grow, you know? Yes. And then it will make you forget who you are. Your boyfriend could do it to you, your husband, your kids. 
your friends, everybody will make you feel and then you will forget and you think you're not shit. And then you look up and you be like a nobody because they let you do that. Remember, remember that time I said to you, and I said it to you yesterday, I said, because I may need you to remind me sometimes. Hey, you, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking like that? Because I need to, re I mean, forget. And then we've been in the house COVID for two years. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been doing none of this stuff since September, really. Think about it. So like even the office and stuff, that's really so I can stay high. The house nice, because the house, if I, if, if, if I just live any way, any kind of way, I don't feel good. Feeling good is a strategy. Mm -hmm. Watch this, this is going to make you go home like, you're going to want to throw clothes away. I don't want this baby ass outfit. Why my room look like this? Ugh, you know, that's what this is about. on the way here so he's okay but he's not gonna be here on time what do we, we should do here we need wait for him we need him okay what time what he time? say between 5 and 5 30 let me call him back let okay. go get something to eat I think you're doing something you ain't even did 50 percent of what you could possibly do so when you get into these type of environments and your confidence increases your clarity increases then everything else follows suit and you just get to become more unstoppable, more powerful. And you know, one of the things I love about my experience is that you live the residual effects long after the experience is over. That's why it's an experience. It's not an event. An event is what you experience while you're in the event. My experience, you learn more about you and who you are, who you could be the next week, the third week. Three, four years later, you're still living and more fruitful for, for what happened to you at my event. So it's called the awakening because it's the art of suddenly becoming aware of something. So a lot of people don't know what they don't know, but they think they know. And then they get in this environment and then they know that, oh my God, I got some work to do. We got some billionaires that's going to be here, some multi-millionaire women that's going to be here. And it's not too late. Go to stormynewrules.com forward slash 2022 to take advantage of the bundle deal that we have offering to you all tonight, not just the opportunity to tap in virtually. As a matter of fact, Pillow Talk kicks in uh, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. We got, you know, I had my first child at 15, my second child at, at uh, 19. And um, if I would have had the awakening, I love my kids, but I probably would not have had kids so early. I probably wouldn't have dropped out of school in the ninth grade. I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a shoplifter or a stripper. I probably wouldn't have, you know, been on Section 8 and food stamps. So I want to awaken our youth before they become an adult. So I'm really starting to get like real passionate about awakening the youth. So it's gonna be the Awakening Teen Summit. We probably won't be doing any more grown folks awakenings in this capacity. I'm going to more of an intimate setting. I have my own like university empire that's like 4,500 square feet in, um, in Miami. So we're doing the Awakening Intimates where instead of it being 400 people, it'll be you and 19 people. So it's still a beautiful experience, but way more intimate than the big, big audience. Some advice, what would you say? <laughs> Fuck what they think about you. <laughs> what? Because they don't think anyway. Damn. That's what I say. It. Fuck what they That's think about God. you because they don't think anyway. And if they think about you, at least they're using their mind. That's what I say. Do you. That's don't worry about what nobody think about you. Do what makes you happy and what makes you feel as if you're fulfilling your life purpose. Fuck what people think about you. This is everything. Billionaire status. Billionaire, 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 billionaire. Let's do a scoop. You see it, scoop? You see a big scoop? Yeah, we about to walk in the ball right now. All right. Come on, scoop. One your shit, man. Come on, man. Where Martha at? Tell Martha, let's go! Let's do it, let's go! 
Michael, let's go! Scoop is here! Scoop is here! Go! 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 The champ is here. You said if people don't listen, I told the video arc for people to keep somebody with me at all times. I'm not gonna play their motherfucking ass. Tell them to quit playing with me. The fuck is y'all doing? Nobody more important than the big old boss, me. The fuck's wrong with these people? I'm the most important motherfucker around here today. Me. I gotta do every, I gotta do all this transformation. I gotta touch every soul in this room. Everybody gotta leave here awake and I gotta hold a space for all these people. Didn't I ask these people to be here? Is they slow or is they slow? Is they dumb? That's what I'm talking about. Gas me up. <laughs> we live in lit, y'all. What's up? I don't want to pay because I don't have what I need. Then y'all gonna be mad because y'all want y'all money. I need coverage all the time. Yes, Mr. Vicky girl. Thank you for today. How you doing? Okay. So she got four. Her and plus one. Yep. 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 Is she already weird? I don't I'm make, make them love themselves for like other So, so after that, you go to the song. The song is My Love Is Your Yeah. Damn. Stay away. Hey, man. Chris is your man. I'm out. You leaving? Where you going? Minute, Where you going, Mike? I'll be back. Yeah, leaving. 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 Where you going? <laughs> Shit. Mike, how old are you? Uh, 30. I just turned 30 in July. Okay. I'll be back in time for the dinner. Okay. okay. All right, where we at now? I am good, good enough. enough. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to the headquarters. On this because there are other groups around. But, so the look at it. but, but the, when I came back, y'all told me the elevator was fine. Y'all told me the column was fine. With the parameters that we gave no, no, no. to discuss. Listen, right. sir, listen, they, listen, they told me that we were not able to do, like after we came together and we met with them, they told me that we were not able to keep it for Saturday, Friday and so Saturday. So initially it was going to be Saturday at noon, right? We knew Friday. that your arrival experience was really important. So we spoke to the other group coming in. We asked them to push it back 12 hours to midnight and they were graciously said, Absolutely, even though they I had 200 we were able to check to in push today. It back. So we've done everything we can to make sure you guys are taken care of. You know, most of your people are in now, so that arrival experience has already happened. Like, I'm, again, I'm sorry you're finding out about this yeah. now, but we've been in communication I'm, about I'm, this I'm, for I'm some time. I mean, first of all, I'm not going to go back and forth. I know the solution. I know what to do. And that I just got to stay in a good space. What I do is not... That's the last thing I want when you're going into this, is to yeah, put you so, in a bad so that, space. That's why Martha could not tell me. Because it was already booked, we had already sold tickets. So telling me what am I gonna do? Be mad and Absolutely. be in a bad space. So I just want you to don't don't worry about Martha. You don't have to say nothing else. I know why you didn't tell. Me. I I was. Well, I mean, I know you listen, Martha. I've been knowing you for a long time. I was trying to listen, fix Martha. It. I don't want you to say nothing else. You did the best that you can do. Okay. Because telling me what am I gonna do? I I can't. I got I gotta be in a, a good space spiritually to do what I'm here to do. Okay. Absolutely. If I'm mad okay. and I'm not in a good space, totally I cannot again. do what I am here to do. I have to hold a space totally for 500, again. 400 people that's here. So I'm not even going to do this with you. So just be quiet. Don't worry about it, Martha. Please, don't even stress yourself out. Okay. I just want you to know we're trying to be a great partner to you. So I'm sorry that this is getting to you now, but we're doing everything we can to make sure that you guys get what you want and you have that great arrival experience. But I'm sorry that those details didn't get to you. It's not even about the details getting to me for Martha. Like the, the, when I initially signed here, I had so many options for hotels. Mm -hmm. What made me love y'all the most is that I could brand my mission. 
when you've branded more than any group that's ever branded this hotel, yeah. and then the, the, the front desk and the drive experience was the only thing that we had parameters, and during the site tour I specifically said I need to get back to you on when you can do it and when you can't. So I tried to make that clear during that experience, and again, if, I, if that wasn't clear, I apologize, and if the details didn't get to you after the fact, and we made sure you had those details well before you bought any branding for the front desk and the drive to make sure that you guys knew that it could only so be up there for a period of time. So what actually has to come down? Just the elevator? Just anything in the front desk the and front outside. Desk. That's it. Everything else, you're fine. Yes. It's just, the, just the arrival experience. Yeah. <laughs> you have fish your top. It's made Your top. Is Titty Op still? Yeah. You gotta tell me the name of it. I'm telling you right now. I don't see what's going on. This is a Titty Op shit talk. She had gotten me the gift design. And it had me all My whole Titty would be, really, my Titty would be hanging out. I swear to God, my, my low. Let me just explain something what's going on. She had gotten me the whole, my no, whole Titty would be sitting like right here. The whole Titty would just be there. And well, I won't. I'm not gonna be next, I'm not gonna be next to you. Right? Yeah. I got yeah. you though. I got well, you. I'm gonna be next to you. Huh? Yeah, I'm on the panel all, all the time. But well, I'm, I'm sitting next to you? You sitting next, this is my show. You sitting where the barbecue is. Okay, okay, let me see. Stand there real quick. Let me give me this. Yeah, take that. Let me, hold on. Give me the whole one. You look nice. Like a look. Shot gonna be fucking oh, up. You can touch the camera guys. Let me know what's coming out. What's her name? Yo. Big storm. Please leave your well, message for Biggest storm for you. <laughs> so they want some sticks. So they want to carry you down. Carry you down. You put your back. Jack, where the camera people at? If it's getting carried in, yeah, the they queen, gonna, they gonna the queen is a mooder, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the queen is a mooder for the come through. What's up, Reggie? What's up, blood clot, Reggie? What's up, blood clot, blood talk time? Blood clot, Reggie. What's up, blood clot, Reggie? Everything, Look at your earring, them. How oh, much them cost? Blood clot, you have enough money. What's up, Reggie? Blood clot. Fifty thousand. You look good. What you drinking? Yes, that is a packed house right there. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, bitch? What you doing? Dubai shit. Dubai shit. Dubai shit. Yeah, you went to Dubai for real, bitch. What happened? Yeah, I live, I live chilling. for the E-Rays. It's the E-Rays. That's the E-Rays for you. What are you doing? What is this giving? Because this giving coochie right here. What are you doing? Is this how it go? Yeah, come on now, because you know I'm that girl. Please, you know that girl's still in there now. She'll come out on you, motherfuckers. Don't play with me tonight. I'm trying to be conservative. I'm a Christian lady. What? <laughs> What's up, man? All right. All right. Y'all see all this amazing branding here? Yes. All right. Just make sure y'all can see it real good. <laughs> good. Girl, I don't want you to talk about it. If I said what I said, it's a long story. Don't even make me sister get mad. Oh. They're trying to make me mad, Reggie. No. Because the devil can't have me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch. The devil can't have me tonight. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you want to do? No, I got Miss Liquor, bitch. Shut up, my own joint. I need you to capture all detail. I just head to toe without it being cropped. You need a picture? Yeah. You got pictures. Oh, which one? Hit him right here. Light skin. Virtual. What's your name? Virtual. Miss Very Squeeze of Miss Face. Very mad and angry. Well, I'm going to make sure I'm going to talk to him. What? Oh, she, I'm a big 
Let me get around. Let me get around. I'm a big girl. Let me get around. 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 Let me Watch your phone. Make sure you're in there. Because I'm a big girl. Come on. Come on. Because I'm a big girl. 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 I'm a Come on, what song I'm going in on? Where's you know they, you know they have half the show, Reggie. Go ask them what song. Do my shit. Go tell them. Go tell them, Reggie. Go inside to the DJ. Tell Portia. Or tell Trina and the Portia. Portia and the DJ. Yeah, I need to come on. Let's go. You gonna carry your bag? No, 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 baby. Listen, baby. Baby, listen. I'm ready to go inside, bitch. You want me to hold the bag or not? The real girl like me just be doing what she want to do. You got both of them? No. Is only one in there? The other phone in there? Oh, that's the phone. Yeah, dude, don't be acting like that. Show my Instagram some love now. You know you do a very good job on this Instagram now. Please don't play games. Don't act like don't make me big. Kiss your ass, lady. Just keep it. You know your Instagram game is wrong. It's Instagram. I'm talking about girl. I'm not talking about girl on my hand. Yeah, the videos you posted on girl on my hand was was nice. He good. She know it, and she be trying the real girl. Where the video is at? She know, 1018, girl. Oh, that's my shit right there. That's my song. Who playing that? Come on, let's go. Let's go. You walking in. Come on, ready to go. Hey, I don't want to work. All right, come on. Who going to work? Somebody got to work. Man, I mean, I want to do it. Find another man. No, no, wait, wait. No, no, wait. Put it down. No. Yeah, I'm not waiting come on that. Come on. Oh, wait. Come on. Scary, you go, come on. You Hold on, wait. Somebody else. Right, right, right. Some, go, go, go down. You gotta bring it down. You gotta bring it down, man. Bring it down. Somebody else gotta be helping him. Do they know I'm down. going in? Do they know I'm going in or no? Bring it down. When? Y'all gotta be coordinated. Like, this shit can't be dumb. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, you. Okay, well, one man gotta be helping I like Boyce to the Hero. That's my song. Toast up. That was just playing. That's my shit, actually. It's somebody else over there. They can't carry him. You can't carry nobody. Reggie, you wanna carry it? Reggie, man, come on, let's put it down, man. Let's cut it down. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Let's take it down. Hey, hey, Bobby, relax. Come on, don't do that. Not tonight. He said he can't. You got it, he could. That's good, but too big. Come on, man. Just wait, just relax. Now, come on, y'all. Listen, y'all, I need my spirit strong. Yeah, you good. That's what I want, your spirit strong. Nah, we good. We gonna hold it low just like this. Come on. Are they ready? Do they mic? Do they know I'm coming? Toss up, toss up, toss up. Let me make sure, let me make sure. Give me a second. environment 
that makes you feel a little bit of Dubai shit. Yes. This is a song called Dubai shit. Hopefully the DJ gets it turned up. But listen, y'all have fun. Like, just embrace the culture of Dubai, the wealth that that country just exemplifies. That was one of my most expensive vacations, by the way. Because it costs a whole lot of money. Like, it's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. So beautiful. Make sure y'all take all the pictures, have all the fun, and we go around with the microphone and give you an opportunity to ask questions like for real. How many of y'all want to be in love with someone that treats you like a queen? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. You better. How many of y'all want to be in love with someone that treats you like a queen? That's the part of the problem. Because you guys believe that you deserve it, and you're the person servants. So we gotta believe that we deserve it. When we believe that we deserve it, we'll talk to attract all the beautiful things that we want. So let this be the beginning of you feeling beautiful, on another level type beautiful. Let this be the beginning of you tapping into what is it that man we want, what is it that I really want, because a lot of us don't even know what we want in relationships. I'm gonna tell you right now. We think we know what we want, we really don't know. We think we want money, if you want that too, but that ain't the only thing you want, because there's a lot of men wanting to treat women like, like shit. So if you want a man with someone, of course, we want more than that. We want to be treated like queens. You want you to honor us. You want men to adore us. You want you to tell me that I'm beautiful. Tell me thank you. Like, thank you for, I'm so thankful to have you. You want a man that looks at you like you are his everything. If not, to be by. Because <laughs> that means that he ain't the one. But that's not what we deserve. We deserve to feel like queens. So I see the men, y'all. Come on, let's DJ with do my shit. Because this wasn't free, from what I understand. So this is what we want to do. Uh, just so we can maintain order and give everybody an opportunity, you know, to get the perspective of every man up here that y'all see, including myself. I'm going to let five different women ask five different questions. Y'all moving slow. We don't have, my question is, what does a real man look for in a woman? What is most important to a real man? And a real man is a man who knows how to provide. Because a lot of men don't want love, they want help. <laughs> so, so I want to know, what does a real man look so for? Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on one second. I can't speak for the other man, but I can speak for myself. I want dedication. I don't want nothing else. Dedication brings love. Dedication brings romance. Dedication brings everything that a man could desire. Because if she's dedicated to you, then she's going to be everything that you need her to be. So, I'm gonna answer your I'm gonna answer your question. Because the first thing you gotta do is stop the competition. Somehow, I don't know who did it, social media, the social construct, somehow black men and black women done ended up in a competition. Ooh. Who got the most money? If I got the most money, you got to shut up and listen to me. If I'm the woman and I got more money than you, I wear the pants, I'm an alpha female, you shut up. Society done got it fucked up. And somehow we done fell into the trap. See, we think being a real man is who got the most money, right? I know some men who make $50,000. Their woman might make hundred and fifty. But guess who where the temple is in that house? That man. Explain it. Because y'all chasing this, the new scammer. That's it. The old drug dealer. That's it. And they going to jail. So that same bag that they pour in is going out. Because they want to tell them they're going to finish. So you got to change your man. But you ain't put no gas in your car. So how can you gas me and make me that girl to go fast and get my own bag? And if I'm already getting my own bag, how can we get a bag together and you come up shop? That's well, all about that. But well, why we keep talking about what the men don't do? Why we not talking about the ones who do? Why we not talking about the women who do? It's honesty and transparency. That's the first thing I gotta give you because if you can't respect me, who if I say who I am and that's a lie, we already off on the wrong foot. 